Betty Fig. Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Kathy Roganella. And I'm Nancy. And we're from Inspired Needle mm -hmm. in cold, it's frosty snowing. Chicago land. Mm -hmm. we got yeah, it. trust me. Yeah, we got uh, a couple inches. They were, it was yeah. supposed to be like three to eight, but we ended up with just maybe between three and four, depending on where you live in the in the town, in the state. Metro area. Yeah. yeah. So. I went out and shoveled. It was terrible. It was so heavy. It was like wet and just, it was sticking to the sidewalk and you had to really get your shovel in there. And there's a snowblower down in the basement that we're, we can use, but I think it's more work trying to get the darn thing started. So mm -hmm. I just shoveled by hand. Yep. There you go. So, but snow, snow, go away. Don't come back ever again. <laughs> Cause I don't like snow. <laughs> No. But we have a very, if you could see this pile of new stuff that came in the mm -hmm. shop, you would be amazed. But we'll show you one by one. Okay. But first we've got some finishes, some whips. How about you show your whips? Okay. Okay. Um, can I borrow those charts on top? Oh, these? Uh -huh. Okay. So part of new charts that came in are the next two charts in the Warm Woolly series. That's number nine. That's so cute. February Sheep. It's called Little Cupid. And then March Sheep. He's called Top of the Morning to Top you. Top of the Morning. Yep. Very and adorable. And I didn't get very far. I did start the February uh, Sheepy. I'll hold it. And then you there can you talk go. about it. Yeah, I just barely started the February. It's uh, cute. It's very there's festive. There's a good reason why I didn't get too much done on him. And you'll see it here shortly. But I also bought the January needle minder because I just love that guy. <laughs> he's so confetti fur. Yeah, he's he's so uh, colorful. Yep. Yeah. And we apologize for there's a couple of you that are still waiting on that Morris blue. Oh right. Mm -hmm. We would like to light a fire up under weeks dye works. But I don't think it's their fault. I think it's they're having a hard time getting, getting the that. fabric, the yeah. twenty count. So th and those people that are waiting are the ones that are doing their ornaments or one doing at a time individual. Yeah. So if you're interested in the twenty count hard donger, we do have that in stock. In yep. stock, yeah. I don't know that we have anything else that would work that would match this blue, but so but anyway, you can use your imagination. Yep. Oh, I got a few. Yeah, look at these. That would work. Oh yeah. I'll oh, show you some okay. more fabric later. All right. So then my next whip was from Country Cottage Needleworks a oh, week we ago. And I am like going gangbusters on this guy. Yeah, you're almost done. Here, let's yeah. hold this behind you. Okay. I just, man, the colors are just pop. I love it. Yeah. And this is on the chalkboard. On the chalkboard. Or not linen. Ada. Ada. 16 count Ada. Looks really great. Yeah, yeah that's going to be sharp. Yep. Okay. Okay. And... The next one I'm going to show you is the reason why I haven't got much done on Miss or uh, Miss Warm Woolies. This is Miss Lucy from Just Stitching Along. And wait till you see, guys. I'm just like going gangbusters here. I did take the sidebars off so I wouldn't knock Kathy in the head. I almost got her last time. So I'm sure I would survive. There's the top. And wait till you see my progress. There we oh, go. she reached the bottom. I and reached, it matches, huh? I reached the bottom row. Yeah, that side matches so far. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see when I get around. Keep your fingers here crossed. There. But, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really excited about this. Let me back it up so you guys can get the yeah. full glory. My shadow. Yeah. I'm That's... really excited about this. I'm I'm anxious to get it finished. It's The bottom row is going to be easier because uh, it's m more of a solid color. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm we'll roll excited. you back up. Okay. So that takes care of me and my whips. And, believe it or not, Kathy, oh, we got to wait for Nancy to... Kathy has some finishes. I'm so yeah. excited. Wait till you see these guys. Right, I've got the bell ready. I need ready. the bell. I need the bell. <laughs> well, first I'll show you. These three, and there were in no particular order. What I did is, because there's nine, 
ornaments total in the whole series and I just grabbed three and what I did is I broke it up into three different colors of edging pom-pom trim and I did three in one color three in another color and the last three in a final color so I just took colors from within the ornaments these are the scary apothecary from hands-on design so these were the three I did the cackle lozenges mm -hmm. The, what was that one? Oh, um, cauldron cleaner. And the bitter brew. So I just took these three and I just looked at them and I just decided it, it, no rhyme or reason really. And once I got going, it was great, but it was a mental block to decide to put them together. So here are my ornaments. There is cackle lozenges. That's my backing fabric. And there's cackle lozenges, and this I used, um, it's called Witchy from Lady Dot, the pom-pom trim. And I just did, um, I had this ribbon, I don't know what I used it for at one time, it was just in my stash. So I just used, did a little loopy, and then I, I wasn't going to do this one, but you can see this is just with a pin. It's not even sewn on there. I just did this extra little, pinched it in the middle and stuck it on there. and. It's a little bright, but it's okay. It's good yeah, enough. They're beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that one's Keckle Lozenge. Then here is the Bitter Brew. Yay! That's another finish. Totally finish, finish. And this that one thing? is your sparkly, your um, Krynik mm -hmm. spools or whatever. I think that's your brew. Brew there. there. Okay. And then the last one, Cauldron Cleaner. Yay! So, I have one more at home, but I'm trying to do them in the threes, so that's finished with the kit. Go. So, three Beautiful. down, six to go. <laughs> and so we, excited, huh? We have decided um, yes. that we're any more of the series that yeah. I won't do them all. Because yeah. um, this is nuts. I'll just do... Well, the reason I did all of these is because of the idea that I got that we could do hang them all like, on a banner yeah. and hang them in front of the on the glass window. Yeah. So, Not the front out to the outside, but hang it with this in the back so if this gets faded by the sun it's okay. But right. yeah, that would look really pretty at Halloween. And trust me, these could have been done for Halloween, but someone was a little lazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that was my right. finish. Excited. Good job. Um, one thing that came up, we had, oh wait, and I'll do that later. Why don't we do some new things? New things? What's new, What's at, new the at the shop? shop? Oh, those are old. Oh, I don't know. Okay. okay, so this came in from Heart and Hand. Oh my gosh. I, I know this is Christmassy, but these have been, yeah, I'm pretty sure these came out recently. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then mm -hmm. also the new Collector's Heart, for those of you that collect Cecilia's um, annual Collector's Heart, this is the 2021. Mm -hmm. And this includes um, the fabric and embellishments in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of you, I think we already showed this one. Okay. The sampler of the month from Country Cottage. Mm -hmm. um, we're having a hard time getting the January one back in stock. We ran out of that one. But here's the new one, the March, March sampler. And I know a lot of you are watching Carrie's Progress. And she's dying to get this one going. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Some of you asked about um, the fabric she's using. Um, it was a combination of Lugana or linen. And she's doing three, sorry, she chose three. three fabrics and she's doing four samplers on each. So if you take a fat quarter and just divide it in four and that's how she's setting them up. So and she chose like, didn't she, isn't she doing four different fabrics? So December, no, January, February, or winter color, mm -hmm. March, April, May was a spring. No, I don't think she's doing them like that. She's just picking which one she thinks will look best on. Oh, okay. But she's doing four per color. Oh, okay. So. 
So all right, well, we'll confirm all that next time we see. Yeah. Them. So if you are interested in her colors, I'll try to get the names. I just looked it up for somebody and I forgot to write them down. So sorry. Um, other new stuff in the shop. We got our order in from Jeanette Douglas. And thank you, by the way, Jeanette. I didn't know you watched our videos. I was so excited to see your <laughs> comment. Thank you. We love your stuff. This one is Cozy into Winter. We might have shown this before, but I did get some more in from Jeanette. I thought there were thread packs, but I was wrong. So that's Cozy into Winter. Okay. And then um, this, I believe, finishes the series, the Blooming Bouquets. Number five. And this is bountiful. I love this one. I love these colors. I love the autumn colors. I don't really mm -hmm. like autumn. And the thread packs. And then, yes, we have the thread packs. This is what we waited for because Jeanette was making these up. And I can't get, no, I can't get the thread packs from the distributor, but I just got them right for, directly from Annette. Annette. Jeanette. Jeanette. <laughs> we just, <laughs> we're talking, Nancy said, so we got an order in from a Our friend of ours friend called of Annette. Annette. Um, this one, uh, for we had a regular USA Patriotic sampler, and she also did one for Canada. Mm, that's, a, that's, that's very colorful. I love that that's one. It's pretty, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also with the coordinating thread pack. So you don't have to worry about tracking any of these down. She uses a lot of different um, silk threads, and there's some uh, buttons in there, or charms, actually. I don't think that's just another button, but... Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it is three brass maple leaves. Just yeah, another button. They don't make brass buttons, brass charms. Mm -hmm. We'll shoot that down. Yeah. Oh, well. Let us know, Jeanette. So, um, it doesn't matter what I think they're um, by Jupiter. By Jupiter. Okay. Okay, so here's Winter Posy. This is in her Posy series that fit in this beautiful pincushion. We do have the pincushion in stock if anyone's interested. And then this also comes with the fabric, the silk threads, and the pin set. I love this one. I don't know, something about these colors just like jump out at me. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. That is it for Jeanette. Okay. okay. Um, this one has been out a while, but I think it took a while to come in. Mm -hmm. Christmas, Christmas Rose, Rose from Blackbird. That's really Black beautiful. Green. Get all the Blackbirds. Yep. Um, from Rosewood Manor, we have the, this is pretty for spring. Mm -hmm. Singing bird sampler, and I can also see this done as like a birth sampler. That would be really pretty. A birth announcement because mm -hmm. you could add the name and the weight down there. Mm -hmm. And here is Plum Tree Cottage. I think this one's so pretty. Yeah, I might have to add that to my stash. Look at that little peacock. I love peacocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, our little housewives, not little, our housewives. They have another uh, batch coming, shipping at the beginning of February. Uh, with the April trucking, but here is March trucking, trucking along. Mm -hmm. It's got some little chicks in there, mm -hmm. and then Valentine's Day. Are you sure? Maybe we talked about this. Oh no, maybe I did in the newsletter. I don't remember. I get the two confused. Be my Valentine with the poofy flowers, mm -hmm. uh, and well. this one is a little change, a little different for them on this green fabric teal color fabric. Mm -hmm. She did uh, 28 Monaco and she dyed it. Mm -hmm. And then tea dunked it. Yep. But if we did show these before, they're worth another look. Mm -hmm. And then Brenda. Brenda's been busy. Yes, she has been busy. I thought there were more than this. Oh no, these were the two that came out. Right. The Say You Have. Oh, say so You Have. She did this, she was, I don't know. Just fudge it and carry on. Yeah, I think she made a mistake and she decided to come up with this little saying. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. continuing on in her gathering series, her little baskets, and I love this one. Winter. Winter gatherings. Sorry about the glare. This is my favorite. Is it so far? Wait, mm -hmm. wait for the other two to come out. 
Okay, um, everyone loved, there was, um, by the same designer, Artful Offerings, it was... It was Christmas something. I can't remember the name of the chart. Wildly popular, I had to reorder it several times, but here is Honey Hill Hamlet. Mm -hmm. And this is also very nice design with the two houses. I love the houses. I like the little honeybee, mm -hmm. like the bee scaps with the bee and the crown and... Mm -hmm. Another one that might end up in my bag. Yeah, I like that one a mm -hmm. lot. Um, I'll let you do those. From the Waxing Moon Gals. They are gals, right? Waxing Moons are more than one. One gal. One gal. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> I don't know all their names like Kathy does. Okay, the monthly trio series. Um, this is January, February, March. Those are so cute. They are, it's called for 28 beautiful beige linen, uh, which is on order. We're waiting for more to come in. And then April, May, and June. Very cute. Sorry about more the, bee skips. Yep. Very nice. Very uh, Eastery, pastel-y. That's really pretty. Don't we have the March one? March, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. there are three. Oh, I'm going to go get it. Okay, while Nancy Stay does clean. that, I will go on to the next one. Okay, so from Hands on Design, we have First Frost. And they're kind of like like a cloche. That's what it reminds me of. Like you would lift up like a little glass globe that sits over this village. I think that's what she is referring to. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, the first Frost, I think they're beautiful. This is done on Antique White Belfast. Mm -hmm. Now, a little word about white fabric. Um, we're having a hard time getting anything white. So a lot of stuff is either we're out of stock, people want these huge pieces, we just, I'm Can't waiting, waiting mm -hmm. and waiting. So that's first frost. And mm -hmm. then if you remember, I should have pulled that pattern, um, back for, I think it was last for market, there came out more chocolate bunnies by mm -hmm. Kathy. This is, I guess, like a companion piece. It's called Hop On In. And it, with the little buttons, you can get the buttons. I have to order those. I haven't ordered them yet. Um, but this pattern, this design will use those same sulky threads. So if you bought the threads for the more chocolate bunnies, you don't have to buy any more threads. The same colors are used in this design. So all you need is a new piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. And then this design is called With This Needle, I the Thread. It's so cute. This she released last, not for 19, not, not for 2020, but for 2019 at Needlework Galleria. This was her round robin. And it was like a huge success sellout. And so here's her, and it's, she includes in the back the, the two little needle things and this little spool thingy. So I guess you can, that's the inside, you open it up, and then you also can make like a little scissor fab. It's adorable. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Um, next, I have two series coming up. This is by, a lot of people ask me about this one, Puntini Puntini. And it's when I think of, and it's a monthly 12 months. So she's going to release three patterns at a time. And she shows you a couple different ways of doing it. Like this one, she put in a frame. This is when I think of January. So on the top, she left the year. So you can, I think that's stitched separate. It's like a little, it's a little button. So you can change the year and then you can use this. It's just a piece of fabric stitched and then you put your design in there. So every month you can change out the month design using the same frame. Or you can just make a bunch of pillows and do a monthly pillow. But this, each one of, sorry I'm sho shoving it down there, each pattern, you'll get the pattern and then you'll also get the embellishment. In this case it's a carrot nose button for the little snowman. 
So you don't have to do like this. You can just do the pillow, and then Nancy's got the February. When Next I think one of February, is February, really. And that cute. includes a heart button. Mm -hmm. There's the button on right there. This one, of course, may end up in Nancy's bag for other reasons. <laughs> and then um, when I think of March, there's that one it's with the rainbow. There's so these will be coming one. on a regular basis and then from the button. From Puntini, Puntini. Now she also has with, if you choose to do it this way with the pillow, so she'll send three months at a time. So if you want to get in on this club, it's not really a club, the series, you'll get the three patterns all at once. And then if you choose the pins, she also has the pin set, which is six pins. And there's two, mm -hmm. like these are the January pins, these are the February pins, these are the March pins. So right. you'll get, you can get the pin set to go with the three pads. Mm -hmm. So, and those are coming direct from Italy. So there's just, when they show up, they show up and we'll right. ship them out. So okay. let us know if you're interested in that. The next series is from Cottage Garden Samplings and it's a 12 month series also, just seasonal. You can stitch them individually or all in one. And I don't know what the designs look like. She's not even done stitching the whole piece. But this is the first one. Oh, and she just posted the second one was going to be available soon. So I will be getting that second pattern for February soon. But this is the January one. It's called It's Snow Time. Now she calls for stitching this on 40 count ancient from Picture This Plus. But she also gives an alternate of um, the vintage country mocha so you can choose to do that I have a customer who's doing this on 25 count vintage country mocha over one it's still substantial in size like a 16 by 16 but and I think she charted them for if you do it over one four across and and three down do you can you I believe. go to her website to get, like, is there a border pattern of any? Tell no, you? there's no border pattern. Oh, okay. She just tells you how to space them out if you do them all in one. Okay. So cool. that's the Country Garden series. It's called mm -hmm. um, A Time for All Seasons. Cottage Garden. Yeah, Cottage Garden Samplings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one too. It's cute. Here's one more series coming from... Um, my friend Beth at Summer House Stitchworks. These are the fragments. She's been doing fragments, gosh, six. This is her sixth year, I believe. I think she started in 15, maybe 14. I don't remember. But these are called Tales from the Sea. And these are the first two that she released. Mm -hmm. So that one's Whale Tail. And this one I'm just calling A Pink. It's a little schooner boat. Mm -hmm. So. Those are beautiful. Yep. If you're interested in that, these you can stitch all in one, like like the one I did in 2018. Yeah, and she does have a border pattern yeah. available for this too. I have to go check it out because I have an idea in my head of a different kind of border, but I don't. I'll take a look at hers. Oh, okay. And this one, just for just because, if you like to do cute little Valentiney things, um, here is respond with love. And that she just put in a little hoop. It looks like she wrapped it with some fabric or, you know, something similar. And it does come with the charm. You can see the charm there. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Oh, we're getting through this. Mm -hmm. And speaking of series, um, Nancy just shipped out the last, mm -hmm. these last two. Shannon Christine, Christmas Club number four. And, number, and five. number five. And we apologize, these came boom, boom all at once. I was waiting for my one distributor um, to post them, and she didn't, so I ended up getting them from a different distributor, mm -hmm. and they ended up coming all at once. So most of you received these last two, last two together. Um, speaking of Valentine's Day, not that we were just speaking of it, but this is an oldie pattern when, I don't see when this, oh, 2012. And I love this pattern, but if you like to stitch cute little Valentine-y things, this is from Lila Studio. 
the pretty um, pillow, two pin cushions, two different ones. Mm -hmm. Very colorful. Yeah, I like this a lot. Kind of samplery-ish. Called Be Mine. Be Mine, yes, yeah. from Lila's studio. She has beautiful patterns. Oh, yeah. Um, just in the shop recently from the Scarlet House. This one I think was a club piece. Mm -hmm. No place like home. If I remember correctly, Isn't that was a, a club piece. Yeah. And this one I love. Little Deeds sampler, and it says, Little Deeds of Kindness, Little Words of Love, Make Our Earth in Eden Like the Heaven Above. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and here is her Dutch sampler called, I think it's C.C. Smith. C.C. Smith. That one I really like, too. I like all of them. So those are all here in the shop. And last but not least, just out from Just Nan, this one is called Queen Snowflake. Sorry about the glare, but it's very pretty. I think turn try turn it the other way. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's much better. And as you can see down here, something comes with that. The beads. The beads. Okay, Queen Snowflake. And then this is the Queen Snow Queen needle slide. So it's just a little hold your needles in there, coordinating with the pattern. Mm -hmm. And this, I believe, is her last um, scissor roll. I really, really like this one. Even if you don't do a roll, it's I think it would make a nice little needle book of some sort. Winter Mouse Scissor Roll. So you can see all the different designs. There's four different designs and it stretches out. And so what you do is on your spool, you just it just rolls around. And then the pattern for the mouse is inside and your scissors um, just stick right up in the top of there. There must be an opening you leave for your scissors. I love this one. I don't know why. The colors, the Cute little designs. There's a sheep, a bird, a snowman. Mm -hmm. so, do it. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple little. In my spare time, you saw how long it took me to do those <laughs> ornaments. Ah, oh, it's okay. Okay. What else we got there? Well, um, we our winner, 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 for our last giveaway mm -hmm. is Frosty Weather. If you remember, and there's her name back there. And our winner is. Renee. Renee. Uh -huh. Renee Bruce. Is that right? Yep. Renee so Bruce. So Renee gave us a call this is or yours. an email. Congratulations. You get the little pattern. I'll probably throw in even the fabric with it. So you okay. can stitch it on yeah, that blue deal. polka dot fabric. Mm -hmm. It's adorable. Okay. And then I decided this episode's blast from the past. You stitched this one, right? I stitched that, yeah. Nancy stitched this. It's called Snow White. And here's how we framed it. Mm -hmm. It's just white floss on a green. You could use any color. It looks pretty on the green. You could even use a really dark green fabric. You can use any color fabric, really, because the white, just something, just don't do it on white, because then your thread won't show up. But it's really pretty, just a little wintry scene. And here's the mm -hmm. pattern. It's from Little House Needleworks. This fabric, uh, it was charted for rosemary linen, 28 count linen. Um, I can no longer get this linen, so just use whatever. But um, we decided since it's called Snow White, we're going to ask that you mm -hmm. tell us who is your favorite dwarf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was Nancy's idea. Nancy yeah. said, we were like, what kind of we do for a question? And she says, well, what about the seven dwarfs? So okay. tell us who your, seven, who your favorite dwarf is. Mm -hmm. And then okay. we will put you in the pool to win, to try to win the Snow White the chart. Snow White. Okay. And okay. then today it was like Christmas. Like the, not the mother load because it wasn't that much, but. We got in some fabrics from Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Or I think she just does fabrics by Stephanie. 
Mm -hmm. And um, for, for some of you who are Ada stitchers, we did get some Ada fabric in. I don't know why this is, sorry. I'm... In the package. Yeah, okay. still in the package. So I thought I would show you some of these colors that you can see how beautiful this are, they are. This mm -hmm. is Caramel Macchiato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks good. This is a 14 count. So I think we've got a half left. I, so this is just um, extras from, because I had orders for it, so I cut what I needed. So I've got a half here or two quarters or whatever, however you want to break that down. And I also have another quarter. Quarter, right. And then this is a 16 count. This is beautiful, that called is Willow pretty. Wisp. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's getting really, no, it's okay. really, but you can see there's purples, there's some green, blue. It's the one side, this is. So if you want a quarter, this would be the size. I think it's 24 length and 18 across. That's a 16, or you can get an eighth, which is the 12 on this side and 18. You can get this size. Then here's, so I have the half, which you can get, like I said, in any size, or this is the quarter. Here's another version. I mean, and each piece is dyed just slightly differently, the way it lays in the, gets laid down in the water. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Um, that's it for the Ada. Then we have, this is a Cashel linen. It's called Nimu. Nimu? Kind of on the same order. The same customer ordered both fabrics. The, mm -hmm. the oh, what did I say? This was Willow Wisp, mm -hmm. this one. So I think maybe she's trying to figure out something to stitch on it or has something in mind and wasn't sure which fabric to go with. But mm -hmm. isn't that gorgeous? It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see a lot of you that like to do those little fairies or a little mermaid on here. Mm -hmm. That would be beautiful. So I've got a half. Mm -hmm. Somebody I just saw was coming out with some mermaid patterns. Oh, okay. Is it by the bay or something? Maybe. Yeah. And then this quarter of the Nimu. Beautiful. And again, so you can get like this size. If you get an eighth, this would be the size of the eighth, 13 by 18. Okay, um, that was the cashel, and then we have some, oh, here's another cashel, the Winter Wishes. Oh. This is very popular. Mm -hmm. This, what did we I stitch on it. this? My, oh, my, this. The Scaries. The Scary Apothecary mm -hmm. was on, but wasn't this on 32? Yeah. This was on 32, and then we have some 28 here, Winter Wishes. Oh, I love that color. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's like an, kind of an all-purpose so we have a full yard here, 28 count. So this would be the half yard, quarter yard, eight yard. Okay. Um, oh, we have some Lugana. Now this is the color that was used in the French, French kitchen, kitchen. Um, but not 28. Some people chose the 28. And this is uh, chocolate milk. This is Lugana. And here is a fat quarter of the chocolate milk. And this is a really pretty, nice, neutral fabric if you like to stitch on even weave. So we have this quarter. And I have uh, another half in here. I won't bother taking that out. And then also the chocolate milk. Here, Nance, why don't you hold this one so people can see the difference? So mm -hmm. even weaves dye differently than linen, just because of the nature of the fabric that they're made of. This is the linen chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. So even though this is still a beautiful neutral, so is this. It's a mm -hmm. little bit darker, but it's not totally dark, dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either one is a great choice. Yeah. So I have a yard of this, and this is... The Lugana was a 28, mm -hmm. and this is a Belfast. This is 32, 32. count. Okay. So, Beautiful. by the time um, we get this posted, it might be gone. I mean, by the time I upload the fabric, mm -hmm. 
upload the video, I mean, I will have the fabric on, on the, the website. website. And we've been trying really, really hard. The only time we kind of mess up is when, if we're super busy in the store and we can't update the website right away, we might get an order or two that will order something that we had just sold. Mm -hmm. So, but I try to do it as soon as I'm ringing it. If it's not busy, I'll try to go in and take it right out of the website if we sell something in the store. So, that's all I've got. Cool? Okay. So, finally, we do have what's in the bag, except it's not in the bag. And, and you know, by the way, I apologize. I had a what's in the bag last video, and it was sitting here next to me on the floor. Forgot. Totally forgot. So, I don't know. Okay, so, for what's in the bag, I just brought in to show you my uh, book of days. And I'm keeping up. I have only, only put in two stickers so far. <laughs> but I'll work on that. But, as you can see, I have done a lot of stitching. Mm. Because I was furiously trying to work on Miss Lucy as much as I possibly can. So, and then the other thing, I believe I gave you a 2020 update on my stitching to-do list. I believe I did. But I don't know if I had the, no, we did have the 2021. But I had to bring this in again because Kathy is going to post this. Yeah, I'll put it on the, below the, in, in the, the show notes. If anybody wants to see know, what see what I'm working on. I did add, I crossed off one and changed it and then I added um, my start for January 1st, if you remember, was the Let, Let's Talk Autumn from Hands On Design. So. I will get back to that one, I'm sure, once I finish the Away We Go. So, that would be it for my What's in the Bag, this edition. Okay. Okay. So, we have... Yeah, so get a hold of us. Uh, not get a hold of us. Um, write your comment if you want to get the pattern. If you'd like to, a chance to win this pattern. What's your favorite dwarf? Yes. Um, if you have any questions, feel free, email us, call us. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. Oh, I do yes. have one more. I apologize. Somebody asked how things were going with my Cubs emblem. Oh, and yeah. um, I had it hidden away. Not really. It was in a bag that was like my finishing bag, which I only brought to the shop um, on the one Sunday a month. I was going to work on it. But... Um, that kind of fell by the wayside. So uh, I found it, and I did put it in another location so that it wouldn't be hidden away. Too hidden and too out of sight, out of mind, kind of. It's there. But, uh, and I meant to bring it, and of course, I forgot. So I know, I forgot. I was going to update you on my um, Lucky 13, and I forgot to bring that. Yeah. So, But no progress since the last time I showed it to you, so... You know, you know how it goes. We all, we're all the same, same breed. We're, we do the same things. Short term memory. Yep. So, so, but your stomach? my stomach is <laughs> growling. I'm hungry. Uh, Time for dinner. Okay. So, on that note, I think we're having pizza tonight. Oh, Keto yeah. pizza, yeah. which is a uh, sausage crust. We don't, we try not to do the bread or the carbs. So, um, we do our Italian sausage in the shape of like a, pizza crust and then we put our toppings on top of it. Mm -hmm. so. It's very good. I do that as well. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, until next time, I'll try to get the girls. They're, hopefully, they'll, they didn't come this last, past Tuesday because um, it, it snow. snowed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if they come Tuesday, I'll do that separate. We'll just have a separate video and update you on their progress and if anything else new comes in the store, I can show you that. Cool. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging with us. We appreciate it. We appreciate all your comments and Nancy, the the belle of the ball here, because everyone loves you, Miss Lucy, and yeah, yeah, and all the warm your stuff. Wooly. Yeah, warm woolly. We've been getting a lot of orders for that stuff. Yeah, Our Amy Brooken, I'm sure, is very appreciative of the fact <laughs> that you're promoting <laughs> the warm woolies. She's getting extra orders from us. Oh yeah. So, so, okay. Well, thanks for hanging in there, and until next time. Mm -hmm. May your needle be inspired. Bye, Floss Tube. Bye, Floss Tube.